this old chandelier when I went to the Brockant and ended up buying um, bedroom suite the beautiful wardrobe with the mirrored doors armchairs quite a lot of furniture we bought in one day and put it in the trailer and they threw this in as a gift in this old box with all these bits uh, no the DVDs went in there but so we finally got to the stage where we need to try and fix it up and clean it up Tony's now struggling if you look right down the middle there there's a a nut and he's struggling to tighten this up for me so that I can hang it up because none of his spanners will fit between those two light fittings in the middle there Ah. So, it's looking very bent in the top there. Mind you, it's quite pliable, isn't it? Yes. It's going to be nice once it's all back together. I'm sure there's lots of bits missing. Can I help at all? No. Mm -hmm. See, these have all got to come off, but I didn't take them all off yet until I've sort of got an idea of where some of them go back. Because these are twisted, you see. Oh, but they they do unhook. Yeah, that one's that one one's come under. Yeah, this one's hooked itself on this chain. That's not helping because there's no give. Can you get that bit? It's hooked itself in the wrong place. Right. Is that any better? Where do you want to get it to? Again, that one's probably. Yeah, it's a bit twisted up, isn't it? Oh! <clears throat> Collecting all the bits that keep falling off. Right. Sounds good. <laughs> so jingly. Okay. Where do you want it hung up then? I was going to hang it on the washing line here so that I can take it apart and um, see which bits are missing and clean it all up. All right, yeah, I'm going to hang it up on the washing line. I'm hoping it's not going to rain. It's a bit cloudy today. If it does, I'll have to cover it up with something so the electrics don't get wet. Yeah, I think that's going to be the easiest way to do it. Hang it, take it all apart and clean it and put it back together. Um, I've done a few of these before. I'm not quite the same as this one. This is quite a modern one, actually. Um, still got stickers on it. But um, even if there's pieces missing, we can, for instance, if these were missing, although I think they're all there, I would probably then just put one alternate one and then counteract that with one alternate train. But we'll see how we get on. But it will look pretty. Ah, that's a nice strong looking hook. 
because it's quite heavy isn't it it, yes. and it hasn't got all the stuff on it yet how many bulbs does it have Sorry. one two three oh it's got four around the side one down the bottom and two up the top but, but these are smaller aren't they at the top mm. it's gonna be quite bright when it's light that's good oh uh, Ah, oh, that'd be good if you tighten it for me so it doesn't slide down the line. Oh, I'm gonna get wet now, aren't I? Should I hang it indoors in the, in the barn or something instead? No, because I'm just looking at the weather at home. What do you think? Right. Shall we see if there's somewhere in the barn? Won't hang from the... No, it's not really... I don't think it's enough space, is it? Sorry? Is it enough space? Yeah. Right. <sighs> no. <laughs> oh, you'd think that this would be easy, wouldn't you? I'm not getting on very much here. No, I know. Where are you going then? Hey? What about in the woodshed? That might do. What about in the woodshed? Ha ha! This could work. This could work. That's a very big nail. Yeah, that'll do the job. That'll keep me dry. And it dry. Oh, I'm just popping in and out of the kitchen and clean bits of it. Thank you. Is that going to slide off? There we are. That's it, I can get to all of it now. That's good. Oh, it's going to look smashing once it's done. Mm. Oh, thank you, Tony. What? No, you just told me it wasn't going to fall off, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, just no. checking. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Blow my neck. Bless him. He don't give up. He's really struggled to make sure that that was straight, screwed in straight in the middle there because he couldn't get to it. And this top bit. Hey. Oh yeah, now I can proceed to try and put all the bits back together. I've got a little bit of a, a wonky bit here but it's caught up on something I think. What I'll do is undo all these bits and then work out where they all go. So yeah, I'll take all these bits off the top here. And then I'll work round ring by ring and see if we've got all the bits. Wow, it's a big job. Alright, I'm going to start by taking these pieces off the top. As you can see, I've taken most of these top strings off i've only got a few more to go but i just thought i'd show you what i'm actually doing there's one still attached here on the bottom a little piece of all right so there's one still attached on this piece at the bottom here and just so that you can see they have these little wire clips on the end and all you do is gently unbend them now you will end up possibly with a couple of casualties if you're very careful they just bend open and you can feed it through the little hole it's difficult to film and do it at the same time but yeah you can feed it through the little hole I might just have to bend that a little bit more I can't see what I'm doing here yeah so if you can see it's like a little P 
pin wire but it's it's quite a soft metal so we just need to open it up just enough to unhook it oh i'm gonna to have to cut this bit because i can't see what i'm doing right i'm just teasing it open gently and so i can feed it through the hole and then when we put them back we just gently fold them back together again i mean if you do lose a few on an old chandelier they're quite brittle sometimes but if you do lose a few of these little wires you can actually use something like some little florist wire i think you can probably get some more of these um but yeah they are all interlinked they all have an in they have a little hole at the top of each glass and the bottom of each glass and a little metal hook in between So this is a quite painstaking process already. Tony's messed around with this for over an hour trying to reassemble the actual bar and the hanging bits for me. And then I've already spent about an hour pulling lots of pieces off, which I'm then gonna clean and then work out how many pieces I've got in order to reassemble it as best I can. A little bit of a dark corner to film in here, but you can get the idea of what I'm doing. It's actually quite a convenient place for me to do this. Still got a few tangles. But as you can see, I've taken off all of these long um, garlands that were on here. And if you look closely, there would have been one on the middle of each piece of this crown and then in between each piece of this crown and then on the middle of that piece of the crown and the next piece and so on so there's quite a lot of them and then they attach at the bottom on this top ring here on all these holes going all the way around the edge here and there's eight sections in the middle there talking about a triangle like this as a section so there's eight of these so what i will do is i will recover as many as i can of these lengths now there's 16 crystals in each length so i know that they're all the same doesn't matter which bit they go on and i've got lots of pieces in the box i need to put some of the pieces back together where they're broken and make them back to 16 pieces so then if i don't have enough to go on every single one of these I will, for instance, do either side of each point here and miss the middle one. So that will gain me one, two, three, four, five, eight. So that's one from each section. So if I need to gain as many as that, then once it's up on the ceiling, you're not going to notice that you're one short every eight lengths. If I can, obviously I shall save all of them. I think we're okay with the drops. Doesn't seem to be too many missing. There's a couple of odd ones. But again, I will check all the way around. And if I miss out the odd one here and there, as long as it's balanced, no one's going to notice that. So, right, I'm going to get on with cleaning it. Oh, also, you can see that some of these are a bit... Obviously, they don't hang very well. Well, that's because the little pins holding them together get a bit stuck, so they just need loosening up very slightly. Well, as I clean them, I shall loosen them all and make sure they're all dangly, because that's what we want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these little crystals out from up here. We appear to have one in each little thing, so that's okay. We've got all of those. And wash those and put those back. And then I shall wash these long strings see how many I can make and put that back together then I shall start on the bottom bit so it is a bit of a labour of love repairing one of these cleaning up one of these and I've done a few over the years and I've actually bought um, a selection of I, think, I believe there was four and we made three out of them so I actually made three with extra embellishments on the bottom because I had a bit 
bits left over from one that was broken so yeah play with it right i've removed all the crystals out of the top ones here so i'm just about to wash those um and then i'm going to go and find myself um i've got some squirty glass cleaner or some furniture polish would do to clean the clean the frame up as we go along before we put the crystals back but the crystals i'm going to wash in hot soapy water and then dry them with some clean paper towel and they will be really shiny Oh, I've just got a little bit of glass cleaning sprayed on to a paper towel and I'm going to go around and clean up this frame because obviously it's a light fitting it's electrical I don't want to get water on that but yeah I shall clean up all the metal pieces we've got a good old clean up before we start putting the bits back Anyway, it's difficult to do it with one hand and to film, so I shall get on and do that. And you'll see it after I've done it. Right, I've polished up all the bits at the top here where I've taken off the crystals. And I've polished all the middle bit. And I've polished the top rail round here. So I've cleaned all that up. And then I'll gradually progress my way down as I take off the crystals and do each row as we go along. Uh, yeah that's already come up a lot cleaner and then i'm about to dry the little crystals at the top and start putting some bits back on that's the more exciting bit right i've got a little tub of just soapy water here it's quite hot water with some dish soap in washing up liquid we call it and a dry cloth and i've got the little crystals that have just been sitting in there for a while and already i'll just give them a quick rub up with my fingers and polish them off with the dry cloth and hang them back on. Now I've got wet hands, I can't turn my camera off. Oh. <laughs> Actually the sun's come out now. I still think it's going to rain in a minute. But look how sparkly that is. Now another tip that is not actually swinging so all i need to do is loosen the little bit of wire on the bottom of it so that it it uh, swings that's almost like a little earring isn't it i can make myself some new jewelry but yeah how sparkly and there we are that's the first little row completed and cleaned only another 999 droplets to go <laughs> Right, as you can see, I've now started putting the chains back on the top. Now there's 16 crystals on each one of these chains and I'm just about to put the eighth one on. And I have evenly spaced them as I've gone along because I don't know if there's going to be enough. There should be 32 to go back. But I don't know if we have all of those. So at the moment I'm doing eight. So the next step will be 16, equally spaced because of the balance we don't want a wonky chandelier so we have to equally balance it anyway so what i'm doing is i am slightly offsetting where i've put each one of the top crystals and i've gone slightly to the right of that oops very difficult to do filming and assembling yeah i just thread the little piece of wire yeah just for the little piece of wire back in mend it back into place which I'm using my fingers for. You can use a pair, a little pair of pliers if you want to, but I tend to find that they're simple to do with your fingers. And then on the bottom piece here, on this bottom rail, obviously there's, from each one I've done on the top, there's three spaces and then a chain. So I've done exactly the same down the bottom here. So from the last one, I'm doing one, two, three holes and then it's going in this one so it'll be even okay
And there we have eight equally spaced chains in the top. So you can see that if we had a lot of pieces missing, it wouldn't even look too bad with those eight. Now I know I've got at least another eight to double up on that. And I can probably even do at least 24. We'll see how many pieces are missing. But yeah, equally, if that was all that was left, that would look quite impressive. I have quite a few bits that are broken. don't have the 16 crystals on. Obviously, this is missing the end piece. But then this, this has got three on. So I'm just going to attach these together to make an extra length of 16. So I'm going to repair as many of these as I can. And again, if you look at the crystal, if you look at the crystals, they have a sort of a, a flat side and a pointy side. So if, when, if they catch the light, you can see that one has a flat side. And if I turn it around, it has a pointy side. So as long as you match up the same sides, the clips go in from the front and fold around the back. So you just attach them together and bend them back together to repair them. Right, I've gone around the top again. I am now on 16 pieces that I've managed to um, mend, make 16 pieces out of each one. And I've alternated in between the ones that I had already done. So I'm about to touch the last one in that last hole there. And I'm not sure how many more I'm going to be able to do. I think I can probably do another eight. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be slightly, well, it's the, as long as they're evenly spaced, that's going to be okay. But anyway, as you can see, even if these were the only ones on the top, it still looks beautiful. So we're getting there. Well, these top ones are looking all very sparkly, aren't they? Right, I've managed to make 24 strings of 16 crystals for this top part. So there are eight pieces, eight strings missing. Now, I've probably got enough pieces to make another four, but it would be a lot of messing about. And I think it looks fine. So I'm going to leave the top bit as that is. I'm thinking it's looking pretty good. That's slightly twisted at the minute. Hang on. That's, um... yeah. Anyway, I think that's good for the top part. It's looking lovely and clean. Now I've just got to start on all this bit at the bottom and work out what's missing. So I'm going to start with these ones and I'm going to unhook all these ones here. And then I'm going to make them dangle and clean them up. And if we have a few of those missing, again, I will do the same thing. I will space them out, even them out. I need to find the ones that go right on the bottom because that's the most important piece. A couple of bottom pieces are most likely to notice if there's anything missing because you'll be looking at it from underneath and it's got to balance as well because it's a little bit wonky at the moment well that's my next job but i'm getting there and i'm really pleased with it so far now I've been quite lucky with this one in the fact that these droplets I have taken one from the bottom row, one from the middle row and one from the top row and they're all exactly the same so I can need to change them. Some chandeliers you will find that they are graduated size droplets you may even have some great big ones and a brown ball at the bottom um, sometimes you have longer strings these are all twos 
they all seem to be the same so that's quite handy because it means I can strip the whole lot off I can make sure that I have a complete set on the bottom couple of rows where it's going to notice more because you'll be looking up but I can then miss a few on the top layers if I need to if I'm missing any so I can take the whole lot off and then start reassembling it once I've cleaned them all yeah I mean if you're not a very patient person I wouldn't start a project like this but I quite enjoy it I quite like puzzles and this to me is a very pretty very big puzzle the big reward at the end of it well, well as you can see I've took a load of these off the bottom here it's getting a little bit tedious now so I'm going to go and have a coffee over at the restaurant I have a break for five minutes and then I'll come back and get the rest of them off and uh, clean them up and then start putting them all back together again there are hundreds of them I haven't actually counted them yet but I'm just looking at the amount of holes around just the one ring here and thinking yeah there's got to be hundreds anyway I'm going to take a break. Just these last couple to go now. I wish it was as quick as that slow mo makes it look. It's not making my fingers a bit sore now. But yeah, that's the last couple. Well, yeah, so we have a completely empty shell. So I'm going to give that a clean, wipe that round, get rid of any dust while I wash all these. And there's hundreds of them. And then I can polish them all dry and start putting it all back together again. So Tony the Paint came over a little while ago to say goodbye because he's had to go back to the UK. Um, Chasey had already gone back a little while earlier because she couldn't stay as long. So it was a lovely visit and he's really helped us with the restaurant. He's really cracked it on. Um, and so has Chasey with the cleaning. But it's all over really quickly and now he's had to go home again so he's driving as i'm as i'm uh, fiddling around with this he's on his way back to the uk and they've just changed the rules thankfully and they've just changed it from amber plus uh, to amber which means no quarantine when you go back anyway i'm making progress Right, I'm going to finish cleaning these up and then I'll show you me putting them all back on again. Easy to clean the chains, so I'll try and give them a wipe over. It's not actually that bad. It's looking pretty clean.
Now I've cleaned and replaced every single one of these droplets on all of these bottom rows. The only row I've got left to do is what's hanging off of this crown piece here. So there are going to be a few missing, so I'm going to have to stagger them. I'm going to work out what I've got left, and it may be every alternate one that gets a droplet. But we'll see how many we've got left. But it is absolutely looking beautiful. It's not looking beautiful out here. Well, it will do. But yes, there'll be a few more droplets around that middle piece. And that's going to look amazing. Well, I've managed to fill every other centre one with one of these for the time being. I'm going to do the same with the droplets. And let's see what I've got left. I think I have more droplets than a single drop, little drops. So all I'm going to do at the moment is put one either side of each of those little ones that I've just put on here. How are we doing? Got a few more yet. I've definitely got enough to do this bit. Just wondering how many extras I'll have left. Well, I've managed to do that all the way around with the droplets, and I do still have some bits left over. So, I think I've probably got about 10 or 12 spaces I've got. Right, how am I going to keep track of this? Right, I'm going to hook a single one in there so that I know where I'm starting from. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. That's an unusual number. So, I think that I can definitely make up enough of the double droplets because I have a few chains left over. So they might actually have to use a couple that have still got the hole in the bottom, which these actually don't. But they would have from the chain, they would have an extra hole in the bottom, but nobody's going to notice that, I don't think. So I'm really pleased about that. Right. Let's see. 
how many I have to make. Oh, one there. Oh, that's okay. I'll have some small bits. I think I'm going to have enough. Brilliant. That will even leave me something else to hang on the top of it. Now I don't have the chains, it's possible I could hang some more droplets. Let's see once we've done this bit. One, two, oh, I think three more for there. Right. One, two, three. Wow. Okay, we have these. something hanging on every single hanging place on the bottom and then the only ones I have missing are up here well, I have eight bits where I could hang something what have I got right, lots of drop for that one two three four five six well wow. seven I need to actually got more droplets than I need. I think someone's probably chucked a few extra pieces in this box. Um, I know there wasn't quite enough chains. But I think there's more droplets, definitely. Wow. Right. I'm just going to do the finishing touches up here. And put a droplet on each space that I left. Wow, <laughs> I'm liking that. That's good. That's really good. That's worked out very well. Five to go, and that's me finished. Four. Wow. Push them back together. That's good. Oh, it's getting so dark out here, I can't see very well now. I hope you can see. I will show you it once Tony's put it up. Two more. Here we are. And the last piece. She says, "Here we are, the last piece, the crowning glory." Wow. Well, I'm pretty. I'm pretty impressed with that. And if you've stayed with me for all through that, well done. I know a lot of it was on the fast forward. But how beautiful is that? Oh, I'm so pleased with that. I can't wait to see it up on the restaurant ceiling. And I even have a few bits left over. I have some drops left. And I have a few little chains. So I have some of the drops. Can you see those? And over there in the corner. Yeah. Oh, they've not been washed yet, but I will give those a wash. 
I have a few bits and bobs and chains. I have some of the droplets. So those will just go in my Christmas box for making Christmas decorations. Wow, I'm really pleased with that. Right, and we think it's too, yeah. too low. Um, can we make it go further inside the no. ceiling rows? No. I've just done it. Oh. Wound it up as much as it can. Um, oh, it is a little bit too low, isn't it? What height is that actually at? It does look beautiful up there. But we thought it was going to be closer to the ceiling. Um, oh. Oh, yeah, that's going to be... I mean, Deborah, Deborah will and maybe me will be okay, but you guys are going to hit your heads on it. Well, you have to put tape underneath it. Actually, that's probably not a bad idea, because that could have a little round table with the menus on. <laughs> but obviously that's going to be right near the karaoke, so yeah, people would have to be kept away from that. Oh, it does look good though. Sorry, we've bulbs. only got two bulbs in it at the moment. Yeah. So, is there any way? I know it would mean you taking it back down, but is there any way of you shortening that pole in the middle? Shortening the pole in the middle. Yeah. What's on, it's got like a screw on the top of it, hasn't it? Well, um, well, that's what I'm thinking. Or, or no, not putting the the pole inside the ceiling rows. No, no. Um, what about yeah? Oh dear. We're giving ourselves another problem now by doing this. There isn't anywhere else for it to go, is there? Nowhere higher. I thought there really was a high enough ceiling for this. Oh. The other way of doing it is getting rid of that hole altogether and hanging that straight on there. Oh. But, but. Does it not need some sort of structure in the middle but, to keep it straight? But, you wouldn't have a ceiling rose. I don't know what you mean, a ceiling rose. If you get rid of that pole altogether, and you hung that hook straight on that hook, yeah. you'd gain, what, three inches? Would that be enough? Yeah. I mean, but, how low is it? But, how would you have a ceiling rose? You wouldn't have a ceiling rose. I'm done for this. Oh. Right. Oh dear. It's a toughie. Or you could go that much. By taking that link out. But you and still gotta link sawing it. Sawing through here. Sawing through here. Yeah. Putting a gap in there so that that could hook straight onto that. Yeah, it's still not going to gain you enough, though, is it? What? It's not going to gain you enough. You gain a, you gain a sort of inch and a half. Uh, maybe. Um, is it possible to raise the bottom of the chandelier up if we move that chain? Move the chain. Here, there's this on the bottom here. here. There's on the bottom. Yes. There's four chains that hold all these. So well, that's hooked into that, that's hooked into that, and that's hooked into that. You could shorten them chains, I suppose, but then... Well, you... that's what I'm wondering. If we shorten the chains with that... It's quite a lot of faffing around, though, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, that's going to look amazing with all the lights on. Um... Well, I'm okay. I can get under it without hitting my head. Um, I don't think you would. Have you stood under it? Yes. And it touches your head? Yes. 
Right, and, and you're just under six foot. Get rid of that link then. Thing is, obviously, we've got the karaoke over in this corner. When we get organised, people will be coming over to this corner for the karaoke, but I don't think anybody else, apart from us who are serving, are going to actually go under that bit. As you say, it could be a little table or something underneath it with the menus on, just so that we don't actually stand directly underneath it. Hmm. It is a conundrum. Is there any way of attaching it so that that loop at the top it actually sits inside that ceiling rose? No. So that the crown actually almost touches the ceiling rose? No. No, okay. You got rid of that pole. Get rid of that pole. Which, what, the pole in the middle? This pole here. Oh, I didn't realise there was a pole there. Right, okay. And you hook that straight onto that. that yeah. Again, that again, two and a half inches. That would probably be enough, wouldn't it? But, how do you put this ceiling rose back on? Um, do you need to? Well, to see the wire, wouldn't you? Oh, I see. Right, OK. So, could you dig a little bit of that foam back out and no. set it in there? No, um, Could you put a collar around it after it's been put up there? If you cut that in half, could you sort of stick it back together around it? What? Stick it back together? No, but you know, that is that not plastic, that? thing at the top? No. Or is it metal? No, it's metal. Oh, okay. I thought it was possibly plastic because no. a lot of the light fittings are. No. But we could have a plastic light fitting that we could put like a normal, just a flat ceiling rose bit on it. Do you know what I mean? No. Um, if you have a normal pendant light, it has a round flat plastic disc which does the same job. It covers up the wires. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Why couldn't it just go up there and fit? <laughs> mm. Nothing's ever simple. Hmm. So what we've decided to do is to take the little bar out that was at the top. Tony's had to remove the cover. So at the moment you can see the wiring, but he's just gone across the road to cut the cover and see if we can slide it around it and bend it back into shape. And that's raised it about three inches, which is probably enough to avoid anybody really bumping into it. But yeah. Once that's got several, like it's got two light bulbs in it, I mean, it actually takes seven. That is going to be beautiful. How are you doing? I don't know yet. Ah, okay. Obviously it's a fiddly job. Yeah. One of my strings has come off of there, but that will hook back on. So, Tony's managed to get the cup back, which covers up the lights. Then it's not quite as central as the ceiling rose. It's a little bit annoying, but it's about the best that can be done to cover up the wires at the time being. Um, we need to paint the middle of the ceiling rose which is making it stick out a little bit and I think it will look okay. Oh, let's just show you how beautiful chandelier now she's up there. Also, um, oh, Tony's got to straighten the top bit out for us yet. 